Thank you very much for watching Montaiko. And are you enjoying the weather? It's beautiful. Thank you very much for being here with us and the great and the great weather, nice breeze. Uh, the piece we just played called Takinobori. This is to celebrate the year of uh, the dragon. And this is the story little cup going up the uh, waterfall called the Dragon's Gate. And if the cup ever succeeds to go up the uh, top of the uh, waterfall, that's become into the a dragon and this is to celebrate this year this year is the um, a dragon year if you see the teachers of japanese culture fair you have the um, a dragon um picture uh there's a little difference between uh, different dragons japanese dragons has three claws chinese dragons has four claws chinese imperial dragons has five claws so when you look at the dragon see how many claws you can find and then depend on you can see the nationality of the dragon Okay, so it's um, uh, num number three is very important in Japanese culture. Um, uh, Japanese, I believe, in harmonious society as ideal. And the number three is the um, um, uh, the third number is the one to um, harmonize, so balance the um, both end. So we like number three, and we also have the uh, Buddhist um, uh, belief in and believe in past and present and future, and all these dis different events could um, happen independently. And we, a human beings, will connect. And there are many different interpretations of the, uh, those different events. So that's how we see our lives. Next piece is called the Hiraita Hiraita. This is a little flower uh, that grows in a rice field in Japan. And then some, um, some of our children are going to play. Inti and Nathan, they are going to be playing with us. OK, Hiraita Hiraita.
Now, next two pieces are played by our children's group, junior group. Um, uh, first one is called Right Hand, Left Hand. The second one is called the Jumping Tiger. The right hand, left hand is, as it said, uh, just a separation of the right hand and left hand. And um, sometimes I do workshop with, uh, with uh, adult, and I say, let's play with right hand. And guess adults do, they play with the left hand. And I have to tell right hand, and then they still bring the left hand, and I said, the other right hand, and they put the left hand up. So it's very interesting, you know, our body and then somehow the um, uh, words sometimes don't connect. And it's hard for the children, and this is their first way to uh, learn separation between right hand, left hand, both hand. And from there, we'll start working crossing, which is a jumping tiger. I teach third grade um, jump, uh, jumping tiger. I teach in uh, San Jose, and this is one of the curriculum. A lot of crossing work using a rhythm. Because somehow the children's reading, sometimes they have a hard time uh, reading straight line. Um, I think some people say because they don't do, they are crawling long enough when they are small and they have a lot of um, uh, problem now coming up. So rhythm is one of the way to adjust your body. So it's very crucial for children to learn some kind of music or uh, rhythm. And we are very fortunate to be in Santa Cruz County. They really promote art education here. So please support art education in Santa Cruz County. <laughs> Next piece, right hand, left hand. This is done by Watson Bull uh, Junior Group.
What's the Bill Taiko is a community drumming group. So we have uh, different events and different um, also classes. Uh, we have a Taiko for Health, just for the seniors class. We have classes at Gray Bear. You don't have to be senior to be in there, but if you're senior, uh, you like to be in this class. We do a lot of um, rhythm um, stretching and pounding too, but based on breathing, not really the uh, muscle stretching, the muscle um, pounding, but based on the breathing. So it's senior class on Wednesday. We have a youth class on uh, Thursday. Um, it started late, 8.30. Um, young people like to stay up late. So I don't think <laughs> we have a problem. So if you're interested in um, um, power drumming, come at 8.30. And Wednesday, uh, Friday, we have all different club children's classes are on Friday. And um, beginning classes on Fridays, too. Also, we have workshops uh, for children. The next one is coming up from uh, on uh, first, I don't have the date, but um, first um, Sunday. Yeah, if you have the, uh, if you like to have information, please come to our booth. The last piece we're going to play is called the Kodonbayashi. This is for the uh, Children's uh, Festival, and we have um, Watson Botaiko Jr. member performing w with us. Um, Kodonbayashi.
Okay. So if you are in.